Nikon Z9, you want to protect it, or you've had it, but it's starting to get scratches and scuffs, sure, you can send it to us, or you can install it yourself. The first thing I would do, and what you should do, is prep it. I like to use isopropyl alcohol, maybe 70%. You can also dilute it if you're worried. You want to clean all the surfaces that you're going to apply the skin to. So after the microfiber towel, I like to use a swab. Now you can find these online anywhere. These help get into the crevices and the small areas. So if you don't clean the crevices, the, the areas that the vinyl touched, it's not gonna stick on properly and eventually it's just gonna peel over time from constant usage. Next, we apply the skins. So the easiest way to apply is to find the areas that they're supposed to attach to. You can tell right away just based off the indicators and the cutouts where they belong, such as this top section. You can see the Nikon's cut out. So you wanna peel these gently. Um, a lot of people would just peel from one side and just pull all the way through. I recommend peeling from all areas that have very intricate pieces. So we'll go from the top to the sides and then we'll go to the other side and peel those off. So there's no resistance as you're going into the very delicate areas. They'll just come off like so. So once you have most of it peeled lightly and gently, lift it away from the backing paper. So you have that done, you wanna position your camera with the indicator. You wanna align it as close as possible or as near perfect as possible before applying any pressure. When you apply the pressure, that's when the, that's when the adhesive activates. So once you have the Nikon lettering perfectly aligned, we're, good, we're just gonna go ahead and apply pressure just to the Nikon area. And the rest, we're gonna fold in. So these flaps, I recommend using the tweezer. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lightly pick it up and just fold them into those areas that they're tucked under. And while doing so, you want to align it with the cutouts as well. Such, such as the viewfinder monitor button. So we have that, we'll go to the other side. You could also complete that side, but I like to check both sides before I apply any pressure. Make sure all the ports and cutouts are aligned perfectly. Remember, these are precision cut skins, so it's gonna be flush with the camera body in all areas. So make note of it, if something looks out of place, it means the application is off somewhere. We're just gonna put every flap into place. Use a tweezer if you have to. And if you have our application kit, you could go ahead and use a tweezer to just go into the crevices and just flatten out any areas that your fingers cannot reach. You can start any part you want. I recommend doing the parts that you think you can apply easier and then work on to the next parts that's more challenging. Again, same as all the pieces, you wanna align it to the designated areas. What I'm using here is the Z9 logo and the LCD screen. So you wanna get one area in first and then move on to the next. So I'm trying to get the Z9 lined up perfectly while also lining the LCD screen section. Once you have that confirmed, you can go ahead and just slowly fold in the flaps to see if they fall into place, such as this AF light. Look at that. It should just go over perfectly. And then we can work on the other areas. Uh, a tip about folding the flaps is I like to crease the corner instead of just folding that flap initially so that way you're it's adhering on all areas of the corner again it's really helpful to have a tweezer to align those areas where your fingers have trouble reaching make sure that they do not impede on the functionality such as 
the camera functions, turning it on and off, and the buttons. They should not be sticking to any of the buttons. It should be perfectly flush. I'm just gonna wrap this in. So moving on to the next shoulder, I like to start with the back indicator. I like to tuck that in. Once that looks good, make sure that all the cutouts fall into place like so. And then just like before, we're just gonna fold the flaps in. Now this area is a little bit interesting because you have to remove, you have to remove the port flaps. Yes, we did think about that. If this is your first time applying, don't worry, these skins are pretty durable. You could peel it off if you misapplied it and just reapply again. You can also add just a little bit of heat to restore it if you overstretched it. Don't forget about the light indicator here. So I'm not gonna go over the little parts, we're just gonna go over the parts that look like they may need a little bit more assistance. So we're gonna take this section. Remember it's recommended to peel from both sides so there's no strain on any area at any time when peeling, like so. We're gonna find the indicators, find the lineup. We're gonna line it up first. And then once we get a pretty exact position, I like to go in with the tweezer and just fine tune it before I apply any pressure. To press in the vinyl to activate it, while at the same time making sure all the areas are aligned. The flaps here will go under the LCD screen, so be take note of that. Now we are charging the customer $10,000 for this application, so we're going slow. So when doing the bottom side, I like to align it with the quarter 20 first before the other areas. So once you have that confirmed, align it with the other holes. And you can see that it's flush with the seams of the camera. Once you have that confirmed, just apply a little bit of pressure and then work around it and get those lined up. So make sure that the switch is still usable with the skin applied. You don't want to intrude upon any of the functionality of the buttons or switches. So the rest should be pretty straightforward. We're just gonna align all the pieces. Again, this area will lift up the LCD screen. It should be a lot easier as you can see the placement of all the cutouts. Once you have that confirmed, Go ahead and apply pressure. We're going to work on the viewfinder area. This part could be tricky, but it's pretty straightforward. You just make sure you tuck this in. You don't have to take off any parts. Just tuck it in, don't apply any pressure. You could use a tweezer to help you align it better. So I wanna align it with this button cut out here. Once we get that area centered, we could just fold the rest in. Make sure you get the skin all the way down. Make sure you get the skin past the rubber eyepiece. Once we have that, align it with the button. That looks pretty good. We're just gonna fold this in, make sure that this cut out falls into place, like so. Use the assistance of the tweezer to tuck in the vinyl.
that is your Nikon Z9. Um, you can go ahead and do the cap if you like, but we're just going to leave it like that. 